Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how can we select elements by their attribute value using CSS selectors locator? Let me answer. This is the syntax of the CSS selector locator for locating the elements by using their attribute value. Okay. First, we have to provide the tag name and in the square bracket, we have to provide the attribute name is equal to and in double quotes, you have to provide the value of that attribute. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll open this browser and here I'll take you to one sample application URL that is omai.blogspot.com and after going there, let me locate some element, okay, using the CSS uh, selector locator by using the attribute value attributes value okay so which element should i take so i'll be taking this uh, login button okay this login button i would like to locate right click on this login button select inspect option you'll get the html code of the login button okay this is the html code of this login button now after selecting this say control f and you'll get this text field here now uh, just simply Say input tag, tag name is input. You just uh, follow the syntax. First, you have to give the tag name, square bracket. So first, I have to give input, square bracket, in that the name of the attribute is value and value of the attribute is login, okay? This is a value. So I'll simply write down like this, tag name, square bracket, value attribute name is equal to any attribute name, okay? To which you have to pass the value. In single quote or double quote, you can give this. Login. Generally, I prefer single code. Okay. Login. The value of this value attribute of this uh, login button. You see, only one element is getting located. This uh, highlighted uh, HTML code element is getting located. Over the mouse, you see, on the UI, on the above UI, login button is getting highlighted. That means, using the CSS selector, we are able to locate this login button. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration in this session. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.